Okay, so this is um, Little Fire Aiden, as we know him. And um, this is the beginning of his this season. This is how he has come in from his holiday, and I'm thrilled with how he's looking. One of my ways is how I give my horses nice, um, nice holidays, nice breaks, and, and bring them back in. Um, lots of people would have him already looked all pulled and clipped and smart and um, shod and looking lovely. Couldn't care less about all that. that is, that's, um, for me, that's irrelevant. I want him to have had a good break. He's had a lovely break. I want him to just be a horse. He's been in the field, raw, rug off when it's not raining, um, shoes off, no food, um, just out with his friends, being a, being a horse. And he's, he's loved all that. Um, he's had a really good time out. And now he's back in work. And he's pleased to be back in work. He's pleased to see us. I start with working them with actually without their shoes on because I think it's good for the feet to just get good circulation in them. And the longer they have the shoes off, I think the better um, through, the, through the season. I don't like loads of nail holes and the shoes falling off a very brittle foot. But also when I bring them back into work, the way I do it is maybe a bit different to other people. We're very lucky here, we've got a rubber walker. So they go on the walker for a couple of weeks just to kind of get everything's moving, get the body moving, get the feet slightly hardening up a bit. And then when they've done that for two weeks, I get a saddle on them and a rider on them and do more walking on different surfaces. Not all about road work. Yes, I do really like my road work and that's a big thing later on. But early on, they've got no shoes on, so there's not many horses that can hack around the village on the, on the road with no shoes on. So do a couple of weeks walking, ridden on the grass, in the arena, on the gallop, in the mud. And I suppose you wouldn't call that hardening. Um, we all old fashioned lot talk about hardening a horse's legs off on the road. Um, so they've not got legs that are hard and can therefore gallop and jump and, and um, be ready for that. But they've certainly got legs that are getting fit, getting mobile. And it's also about elasticity. I'm a big believer that yes, hardening is really important and tendons are stretched and worked by being in the mud, on a surface, doing lots of different things. And obviously event horses are not on a lovely surface the whole time. They're on banks and lips and gullies and their legs are working all the time. So I like to get them used to being on the mud. Otherwise, the first time they see mud is at their first event. And that to me is clearly wrong. So I want them to see plenty of mud in their fitness months. This is our just a normal concrete track. And I would again very happily do some walk, walking on it, not a lot, but a little bit. And obviously on a, on a horse that's got good feet, there is a lot to be gained from just walking on a bit of firm, solid surface. So we're just going to go on up now onto our field, which is currently very, very muddy. It is very nice and level, but nice to walk on a bit of, as I said, different surface because there's a bit more movement, bit of slip, bit of slide and the leg has got to really work on its appropriate reception on different surfaces. You can see just how wet it is, but it's a lovely field. It's not deep ground. Um, this is just wet ground. OK, so here we are on the gallop. Great um, surface just to have, even as I, you know, for walking and trotting on. You haven't always got to gallop. It's not deep, but it's, it's moving a bit. It's, it's soft. It's a little bit of it's giving it. So again, it's just working on the on the footfall and the different kind of surface. Very lucky here to have some muddy fields that we can ride on and that aren't too stony. I think obviously the, the risk of, of going in a muddy field with no shoes on would be if you have flints or big, big stones in your soil. But here we're very lucky to be muddy. Just slosh through the mud without shoes on is a, is a really good bit of difference. It's much harder work for them to walk in this kind of condition than it is to walk on a, on a road or an arena. Like any fitness work, I wouldn't start off by doing half an hour in, in a bog. I'd start off just by doing a few minutes and build it up. You can see that he's just using himself, but he's walking a little bit awkwardly, having to pick his legs up and put them down. Very good for the tendons and ligaments to stretch and, and work, but with no pressure of speed and turning. See the kind of the mud is in places as well up to Fetlock. Um, it's a little bit like walking over a set of walk poles, isn't it? Just gets everything really stepping up. And look how well his hocks are, are bending and how much he's stepping under himself. 